What's going on guys? We are down here. It is a cold morning on Sunday and the Canadian Thanksgiving, which is on Monday, which is tomorrow. But yeah, we're uh, in Ontario fishing for uh, some smallmouth in the morning. Uh, taking a break from some pike, but we do catch some pike. I got the leader on so we don't snap line. I did have a video for the pike, but um, my files got corrupted for my GoPro and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, we're out here trying to catch some smallmouth. Already caught two pounder, didn't get any film, didn't feel like wasting time with it. We're gonna try to catch some smallmouth in the morning, so let's do it. It's about uh, 9 30. So, uh, see your luck. We should do good, hopefully. As long as the bait fish are biting, then we're good. Alright, I'll catch you guys out there, you mad fishermen. Bye bye. Now, yeah, we got one on. He's big. Oh yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh, he's a good one. Felt big. You gonna take it again? There we took a. He probably took a fish. I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna take it. Are you good? Uh, you still got some life in you. You still got some life in you. Let's see if he takes it again. Damn, I think we got one on. There we go. I got one. Oh, I think he's big. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got off. Ah, oh, he's a good one. Felt big. You gonna take it again? Whatever he took a... He probably took a fish. I don't know, I don't know he's gonna take him. Are you dead? No, uh, you still got some life in you. You still got some life in you. See if he takes it again. <sighs> Got one. Oh, it's a little bass. It felt bigger than that. Or look at that little thing. Little guy. He swallowed the hook. No, it's right there. Little dinky bass. On my mad fisherman, we are down here in Battle Falls. We're gonna get some freaking walleye. That is our goal today. Some big walleye. Last time I was here, I didn't get it on camera. Like I said, my files were corrupted, so I couldn't get it on video. I have one part of the video, which is like the after catch, so I'll throw it in this video. But I ended up catching a five and a half pounder. Almost, I think it's my second biggest walleye of my life, so that's good. So, yeah, let's get out there. We're gonna catch some walleye. We're trying to catch that pike because we missed a big pike too. And yeah, we're gonna try to get out there and fish. So keep your lines tight and keep watching. Out front, I got a slip bobber going about 15 feet down. And then closer to shore, I just got a regular big bobber going about six feet down. So that's where I got the pike attack there. So hopefully we can get something. That's my setup. And I got some sinkers on it the way down the minnows. I'm using minnows as you can see. Some good minnows for some good bait. I might switch up and use worms later because that's what I was working for the walleye last time, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Look at the size of that walleye. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, picture time. Oh. Oh. Look at the size of that thing. Oh. That's a monster. That is an absolute monster. Christ, you just won't take it. Just won't take them. Okay. I'm gonna 
take him. There we go. Got him this time. Is it bass or walleye? That should be like a rock bass. Oh my god, I think it is a... Oh, no, it's a wally. There we go. Got the walleye, little dinky one. <laughs> nice wally. Alright, nice walleye. Good job. Nice little walleye. Caught him right up the dock. Oh, yeah. We already got another bite. This feels like a better one. Is that a bass? Another walleye? What is that? That's another walleye. That's a smaller one. Even smaller one than before. Look at that one. It's a smaller one than before. <laughs> it's almost like the same one. It's crazy. It's some crazy walleye fishing tonight. one yet so far uh, yeah not a huge one but we're catching walleyes that's what we came here to do and that's what we got whoa so far this is going pretty good let's try to catch another one before I get out of here got three walleyes so far accidentally killed one didn't mean to okay this is where the hook set was I got to get new pliers and I tried my best to get it out but he ended up dying which kind of sucks so take him home and eat him I guess anyway let's just keep trying and see what we can get hopefully we can get another one before I end this video so yeah the last one there I was literally really in to check on the minnow he either grabbed it while I was reeling in or something like that good show good show doing some walleye fishing it's dark a little scary. I'm just kidding. There's this view out here. Got a little bit of light. And back to darkness. Yeah. See, I got one bobber that breaks and then the same exact bobber. That doesn't do anything. I don't know. It's like a dud. I don't know what's going on with it. What do you guys think? Should I just throw it out and buy a new one or should I just keep it as a bobber? Comment down below. No walleyes, no Walter heads, nothing right now. With the fucking bobber right here. But yeah. Yeah, it's hard to do this and record at the same time. Oh, I think it's snowing. I don't know if it's raining. I feel like it's snowing. That little orange bobber up there, the little thingy right here. Let's see how this pans out. We're down the one rod only because can't see shit. Put the other one. The other one won't work. So we just got one worm on the other one, just drifting. Got no minnows left. But so far, we've got three walleye and a rock bass. No bass, which is kind of surprising, but you never know. Something could happen. So we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Hopefully we'll... I'm trying to catch a, one more for this video for walleye. But, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we catch one. <laughs> night fishing is always fun. I usually night fish for catfish, not walleye. It's been a while since I actually fish for a walleye for the nighttime. So we'll see what happens.